welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you 14 things you can do within Windows to help improve frames per second and reduce lag and stuttering when playing PC games. Especially with the new Call of Duty that has just been released, this is a question that I have been asked a few times now. The first thing you want to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of Windows and right click and you now need to click on settings. Once settings is open, you now need to click on system and we now need to click on focus assist. You now need to change it from off to alarms only. And basically what this will do is reduce the amount of notifications you get when you're in game. This can be very annoying when you do get notifications pop up because they can either make your game minimize down to the taskbar or they can actually make your game freeze or make your game become laggy. So we definitely don't want anything like that running in the background. Once you have done this, you now need to go back to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and you now need to type in defrag and you now need to click on defragment and optimize drives. You now need to optimize your C drive and any other drives you may have on your computer. But if your hard drive is a SSD drive, then you cannot optimize that drive. If you optimize an SSD drive, then you do run the risk of damaging your SSD. But if you do have a big enough SSD drive, then definitely install the new Call of Duty or any other games you have onto that drive because it definitely will help improve the game in loading times and also will reduce any lag and stuttering. The next thing after you optimize all your drives is to now open up control panel. To do this all we need to do is go back down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in control and you now need to click on control panel. Once control panel is open you now need to click on mouse. And once the mouse properties have opened, you now need to click on pointer options and we now need to deselect enhance pointer precision. The reason you want to turn this off is simply because this will help improve your aiming when you're playing any first person shooter game. If you have this option on, then your aim will become really poor when in games. And this is actually an option a lot of people do not realize and forget to turn off. Once you have turned this off though, you now need to change the mouse sensitivity within your game and any software you have for your mouse to suit how good you are with the mouse aiming. Once you have found a good sensitivity, you also need to check the DPI of the mouse as well. This can be done within your mouse software. Once you are happy with your mouse speed, you can go ahead and press apply. And there we go. The next thing you need to do is disable any system startup applications you may have. To do this, all we need to do is simply right click in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and click on task manager. You now need to go across to startup and you need to disable any of the programs here that you do not use. For example, Epic Games Launcher, I do not need that to boot up with my computer. So all I need to do is right click and then click on disable. And now that will no longer boot up with my machine. And as you can see, it did have a startup impact of high, which means it will also impact my game performance with that running in the background. The next thing you want to do is also make sure you have no processes running in the background that may harm your machine. For example, AFAST, that's fine, that's my antivirus. But if you are feeling brave, then you can disable that. If we scroll down a little more, we have Microsoft Office. I don't need that running, which means I can end task that. If I scroll down a little more, I have Origin Web Helper. I don't need that running. That's using 2.6 meg of my memory, which means I can end task that as well. 
you basically want to go through all the processes and end task anything that is running that you are not using. The next thing we want to do is check for any new Windows 10 updates and any new drivers for your graphics card. To do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in check. And you now need to click on check for updates. We now need to press download if there are any updates available and also if there is any optional updates just check what the update is and then decide if you want to install that. It is always a good idea though to install any updates that Windows has to offer. With regards to finding your graphics card drivers, then all you need to do is go to Google and type in your graphics card, for example, NVIDIA, AMD, whatever graphics card you have, go to their website and then put in your graphics card model. If you are unsure what graphics card model you do have, then all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in DXDiag and run DXDiag. And you now need to click on display. And as you can see, I have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960, which means I would be looking for the GTX 960 graphics card drivers. Just remember, once you have installed your graphics card drivers to restart Windows, the next thing we want to do now is close down DXDiag and open up File Explorer. Once File Explorer is open, you now need to click on this PC and you now need to right click on your hard drive and go to Properties. You now need to untick Allow Files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to the file properties and press Apply. And you now want to apply this to all folders and simply press OK. And you need to press Continue and press Ignore All and it will now apply this to all the files and folders and you want to do this to every single hard drive on your machine and whilst that is running you now need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen again and you now need to type in index and we now need to open up indexing options and we now need to click on to modify and you simply want to deselect these locations and once you have done that you want to press OK and you also want to pause the indexing. As you can see, it will still index my users folder and my start menu, which is fine. But if the indexing is running, you definitely want to make sure it's paused so it's not ruining our game performance, as it will have a massive impact on those frames per second. The next thing we want to do now is go back down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and open up control panel again. Once you are on control panel, you now need to click on to system. And we now need to click on advanced system settings. And we want to click on settings under performance. Make sure you have clicked onto the advanced tab at the top. We now want to click on adjust for best performance and you want to press apply. Doing this will really help improve the performance in Windows. Once you have done that, we can now go ahead and press OK and OK again. We now want to go back down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in power. And you now need to click on power and sleep settings. And we now want to click on additional power settings. And once that's opened, you now want to click on high performance underneath hide additional plans. I will also put in the description below how to enable ultimate performance. Once you have turned on high performance under the power plan, we now want to go back down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and we simply want to type in game. And you now need to click on game mode settings. You now need to make sure game mode is turned on, which will help optimize windows when we open up a game. And the next thing we now want to do, this only applies if you run Chrome and Discord in the background when playing games. You need to open up Google Chrome and then go to settings and you want to turn off hardware acceleration. And you also want to do the same in Discord. Go to settings and turn off hardware acceleration. 
as this will have an impact on your graphics when you have those programs running in the background when playing any games. Once you have done that and you're happy, we now want to install a program called Game Booster. You don't have to install Game Booster. This is more for the machines that really are struggling to run games, especially with Call of Duty requiring such high specs now. To get Game Booster, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to click on free download and we need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file. You will need to be logged in as a administrator to be able to install this. You now need to accept the terms and conditions once you have read those. And you now need to choose where you'd like to install Game Booster and press next. And I will create a desktop shortcut. It will now begin to install Game Booster. And once it has finished installing, we can now go ahead and keep a launch smart game booster ticked and go finish. And this is the window you will end up with. And straight away, as you can see, we got a massive boost icon, which I actually love the look of this program. At the bottom of game booster, you can see it has found games that are installed on my machine. And there's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You now need to click on configure and you now need to go through all these options and just select what you'd like Game Booster to optimize when you press boost. If you are happy with all the default options, you can now go ahead and press boost. And as you can see, it's stopped one process, it's also stopped 14 services, and it's also freed up 618 meg of RAM. And it's now enabled game power as well but we actually turned on the max power plan earlier. You can now go ahead and boot up your game and hopefully you will see a massive improvement in your performance on the game. You can also go across to drivers if you were struggling to find any drivers for your machine and update your drivers through Game Booster. If you really are struggling, then the last thing you can do now is disable your audio in game. A lot of people say disabling the audio does help with frames per second and then other people say no it doesn't work. I will leave that to you to decide. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.